Today I'm going to show you how to get free 3D characters animated for Blender. So let's see it. First of all, you need to go to this website, mixamo.com, and you will need an Adobe account. So if you don't have one, create one. Don't worry, it's free. Then log in. And once you're inside, you will see these two panels. So let's start here, in characters. Here, you can choose your character, where later we are going to apply animations. And here you can click and drag to see how it looks like. It's like working in Blender. You can zoom in and zoom out. You have a lot of characters to choose and see which one do you like more. If you want to use the default character, just write bot. And you have Y bot, the male, and X bot, the female. I'm going to choose Dexbot. Now, if we want to apply an animation, we have to go here. And here we have a lot of animations to apply. You will see that once you select, the animation will be applied. And here we have different features to play. Overdrive is like the velocity. So if we decrease this, we are making like a slow motion. Or you can make it fast. Let's see another, for example, this one. You can select different animations to see which one do you like more. And correct arm space means that if we increase this, you will notice that the arms have more space from the body. And this is the total frame duration. Also, if you click insert, you have different types of animation. Combat, adventure, sport, dance, etc. I'm going to search a normal animation, like walk. For example, this one. And here we have the overdrive, remember, to make it faster or a slow motion. I'm going to leave it normal. Remember, this is the space of the arm. So if I want the arms more separate, we have this animation. I'm going to select normal. And here, if you don't want the character to go forward, what you can do is select in place and the animation will be in the same position. What also you can do is to upload your own character. But in this tutorial, we are not going to do this. So I like this animation and I'm going to download. And here I recommend you to leave it like that. So let's select download and wait. Now let's open Blender and delete the cube and go to file, import and search for this format. FBX. Go to the folder where you download the animation, I have it here, and select import. And you will see that now we have the character here. And if I press play, you will see it's animated. However, the animation is not loop, it has some frames. So after this, it finished. If you want to loop the animation, you have two options. The first one is to cut the duration, so for example, 30. And now, if I press play, you will see it's looped. Or the second option, if you want, we can loop this animation. For example, let's come back to the normal duration. And I recommend you to go to Graph Editor. And if you want to loop this animation, just go in Modifiers and select Cycles. And now it's repeating this animation. So if we press play, you will see we have a loop. And if you don't want to see a cut at the end, I recommend you to calculate the duration of 30 frames or the number of your character. So this animation is 30 frames. So for example, I could do like 30 plus 8. So I know in this frame will be loop.
And now you can do whatever you want with this character. I'm not an expert in characters, but here you have the armature and all the data to play with this character. And once you have the character animated, you can start creating your full scenario animation like this one. If you want to know how I did it, you have the full tutorial on my Patreon. I'm going to leave you the link in the description. So if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and remember you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.